What's up guys, Spin Firearms here, and today we're going to be talking about two firearms. Now what's interesting is one I believe is actually produced by GeForce, and the other one is just imported by GeForce, right? So we're talking about the GeForce GF9 Rapture, which has actually been an awesome handgun, a great sleeper. It's gotten some pretty good reviews online, and a lot of people who've purchased it, based off my review or others, other reviews, have actually really liked this handgun. And then also right here is actually Radical RPX-9 Exodus. Now G4 stamped it, but as you can see right there, it says Radical made in Turkey. And then I believe it says imported by G4 Arms. So this right here is going to be their actual production pistol versus this being an import. Now what's interesting about them both is they are both somewhat clones where this is partially compatible with a Glock 26 but the lower isn't and we're going to discuss that. And then up top this is basically fully compatible with a Glock 19. It is a Glock 19 clone. But before I get started hit the like button, drop a comment down below and subscribe. This was a viewer requested video so let's get into it. Personally this is what I prefer out of the two. The GeForce 9 Rapture is an actual all-around well-performing handgun. Now, the magazines are thinner mags. Obviously, both firearms are clear and safety check. They're thinner than your Glock 26 mag, and that allowed for a thinner handgun, more concealable where it matters, which is that frame. If you notice, it's thicker until this point, and then it becomes thinner. As you can see right here, the con look at this line right here. That's where it gets thinner. Now. They didn't end up using Beretta 92 mags, but they're similar in size. And I've heard people doing some stuff to their Beretta 92 mags to allow them to work in here. I think G-Force would have knocked it out of the absolute park. They would have a crazy seller on their hand um, if that would have happened, right? If they would have used some, you know, Beretta 92 mags or something else that was compatible with this. But they didn't, but that's fine. You can get, it comes with two mags and you can get some extras online. But what I really like about this handgun is overall ergonomics. Whenever I pick this up, it feels really good in the hand. You really get a good purchase, three finger contact with that base plate. But I do wish they released the flush mags because I do, um, I don't like the fact that they don't add any capacity. They're just there for people who want three finger contact, which I don't really use when carrying the Glock 26 unless it's the colder months. Now everything else was done really well on this, right? That trigger, it's like an, a copy of the Overwatch Precision trigger. So it feels really good in the hand. It's crisp, it's clean, and honestly, I think it's better than the Exodus. Now, the upper is fully compatible with the Glock 26. Same with some of the internals. The mag catch is not, and obviously the magazine. No rail on this one, but my Glock 26 Gen 3s don't have a rail either. Not a big deal. This does come optics ready. And once again, I want to point out how nice that finish actually is. It's a really nice finish. It's better than the Stoger Compact and Micro Com or and Subcompact. The Micro Compact actually is a really nice finish. Um, but I also think it's better than you know Ruger finish and stuff like that. So they did a great job. Awesome serrations. Like I said, you can see optics ready. Fiber optic sights, which I love right out of the box. They're absolutely awesome. And they're a little bit higher, so you can co-witness with your optic right out of the box, but not too high, taking up majority of your window. Um, it comes with different backstrap options. The one that came on it is honestly my favorite, but you do have three other options in this. Like I said, it just fits the hand perfectly. The number one thing I like about this handgun, though, is the texturing. They knocked it out of the park. It's not too aggressive. It's not too little. It's on point. And also, they also did a great job right here with memory pads on both sides. So I absolutely love this handgun. Takes down like a Glock. Pins are in the same spot as a Glock. Um, takes Glock sights. This is just an awesome option. I think people were saying they're getting for around $330 right now. I love this thing. Even if it's not your main carry, you know, just an awesome backpack gun, truck gun, fishing gun, whatever the case may be, it just runs. And I've showed that on camera. Um, and I've actually been having a really nice experience with the GeForce Arms Rapture GF9. I also like the fact that it's thinner, a little lighter, a little bit more concealable, but not by much. Let's do a quick comparison of the Exodus and the Rapture. And I'm going to tell you what I wish they would have done differently um, with the Exodus. That's overall length, 15 plus 1 on the left, 12 plus 1 on the right. See that base plate sort of ruins it for you, but obviously it's much skinnier. And then this does have the magwell up top, similar to a Glock 26 and Glock 19 in length and width. Overall footprint. Now let's talk about the Exodus for a second, right? Like I said, it's not an actual G-Force arms production, as you can see, Radical Maiden Turkey imported. So that's what makes this firearm interesting for me. Now, 
first impressions when I first got it, ergonomics are absolutely on point. Um, I actually really like the ergonomics of this with that magwell. I did notice you can take the magwell off. I love it though. I think it's dang near perfect. Locks your fingers in there perfectly. Now this model right here is not optics ready, but I believe all the other models coming out will be optics ready. This is just a test firearm. Now comes with a rail, memory pads as well, and the finish is actually really nice as well. I was very surprised by the finish on this and that is probably one of the highlights of this pistol. Now the sights I was very confused by. Why give us like photo lesson or whatever phosphorus rear sights that have to glow in the dark with a fiber optic front? I would have preferred a blacked out rear or just do something like this. So easy, you're already halfway there. Why not give us full fiber optics? Because I did charge these and they don't even glow you know, that well in the dark and they're really big dots. Um, but that's an easy fix. I have like 50 pairs of sights upstairs that are Glock compatible. I'll probably be swapping that out for uh, a blacked out rear with some texturing. Overall, everything does function on this handgun. I would say the two benefits of this handgun are the texturing being on point once again with that magwell. So overall ergonomics and feel of the firearm is really good. But then also that finish. And then the last thing is definitely that trigger. The trigger is better than your average Glock trigger. It's just lighter, smoother, crisper and cleaner, but it does resemble a Glock trigger, um, obviously, obviously, <laughs> in every way. But it's a really nice trigger. Now, mags are very similar to Glock mags, but they are not Glock mags. You could get confused looking at it, but when you look at the back and the bottom, you realize real fast these are not Glock mags, but they do take Glock mags. So you can always use your Glock mags um, for it. This handgun, I think, is going to be around you know three thirty to four hundred dollars somewhere in there. And honestly, I think they did a really nice job with this clone. But I think they do need to make it the optics ready in every model, not even make that negotiable. Um, but other than that, I think they did a really good job. But when you put them side by side, uh, the G Force Arms is what really sticks out. This is just another you know budget Glock 19 clone, which it might you know fill your role perfectly. You may some want something with the magwell and better ergonomics or an awesome finish or you know whatever the case may be a better trigger than the dagger whatever the case may be because there's so many budget glock clones out there nowadays but for me the g-force arms gf9 rapture you know they hit it out of the park with this handgun everything is nice it looks nice it sticks out uh when you take a look at it and i think this is a sleeper 100 percent the texturing is just on point they went with a great flat face trigger i mean the sights literally everything about this handgun i've really enjoyed the one thing, like I said, is the magazine option, but not a big deal. I think they should, you know, make a new magwell or mag catch, send it out to everybody who already bought one, take the hit. But then going forward, you can make a lot of sales based off having bread and 92 mags with a new mag catch, whatever the case may be. But overall, love this handgun. I like it much better than the Exodus, but zero issues with either of them. Both great shooters. Hope you guys enjoyed the comparison. Thanks for watching.